This is a Suzuki Swift having a problem of unstoppable engine misfiring. Continuously injected fuel at one cylinder and flooded and burned gases painful to the eyes. This kind of port, I could say, tremendous, open, extraordinary, exceptional, because of very rare or unusual. If it isn't diagnosed properly, I could say the defective ECM, which is engine control module. I'm gonna show you what kind of diagnosis or procedures I did and rectified the pole without replacing any part. This pole has been fed up, fuel injectors has been cleaned up and not defective but is still continuously injected fuel and uncontrollable. Let's start a diagnosis. Now this procedure is I okay. can say it's a simulation test. Okay. A simulation okay. test is I will move and shake the harness itself. Take a look at the changes of the blinking bulb, the differences of the lights. I use a peanut bulb to explore the port. Keep your eye on the blinking illuminated bulb if the blinking is brighter or dimmer. If the lights blinks brighter means it has a short circuit to the ground. If the lights blinks dimmer, it produces correct voltage if I will move and shake the harness the light is blinking from dimmer and bright uh, also there it is very difficult to rectify such fault yeah. this problem was common to us but if you are a beginner it is very difficult to find out this is a very extraordinary port and a little bit harder. Let me remove the to diagnose it. I worked together with my auto electrician to rectify the port and advised him to wiggle the wire where it was the port. Finally, we got the port where it was. This is the actual video footage of diagnosing simulation tests. Look at the blinking bulb while the engine is in motion. While keep on shaking and wiggling the wire, the board has been exposed. After the short diagnosis, my recommendation is to pull out the complete harness and have a proper inspection of the short to ground circuit this is a matter of simply to repair but it's difficult to rectify particularly short to ground after the repair of the short to ground all the wires are properly insulated and secured this is the aftermath after the repair. I am driving the vehicle in good running conditions without hesitation nor jerking. Flooded gasoline into the combustion chamber has been solved.